I'm Mary Bauer and this is Bauer Power. You're still losing money in the market? I'm making a killing. The more it falls, the more I make. Not my problem. Computer failure happens when you least expect it. In fact, more than 140,000 hard drives crash in the US every single week. And while most crashes don't involve a burning appliance, how do you protect your digital photos, music, and financial documents from viruses, theft, hard drive crash, and other forms of computer failure? Simple. You back up your files with Mosey. Mosey is a safe and easy way to automatically back up all of your files online. And best of all, it's affordable. For only $4.95 a month, you get unlimited storage. That's enough space to back up your entire computer for the price of a hamburger. Just visit the Mosey website below. Mosey Online Backup. Funny name? Serious protection. Visit mosey.bowerpower.net now to support Bower Power and protect your important computer files. Welcome to episode 23 of Bower Power. I, of course, am Paul Bauer, a.k.a. Twitter.com slash Pablo. And today I have a pretty good show for you. Today, um, due to a uh, recommendation from uh, viewer uh, Jessica from Facebook, um, she was she was uh, saying that I should do an episode showing how to protect people against some of the hacks that I've shown recently. Um, and because the most popular video uh, that I've done so far has been on hacking Windows passwords, I thought I would start there, okay? Now, if you look at episode 19 of Power Power, I show you everyone how easy it is to um, boot off of a live CD and hack a Windows um, administrator account password using PowerPunt 2 Linux. Um, that, nothing new. People have been doing it for a long time. Um, so two things that people can do to protect themselves for that is one, make sure they keep a good handle on their laptop. Uh, physical security is very important. You don't want unauthorized people getting to where they don't need to be. And Another way you can protect yourself is with what's called full hard drive encryption, okay? Now, for those that don't speak geek, um, when you encrypt something, you make it unreadable, okay? Think of something from a James Bond movie, all right? Uh, when they send an encrypted document, um, only, the, only the good guys can, can read what's on the document, right? And then you have uh, the Soviets trying to break the code and whatnot, okay? Well, the same thing, um, it's freely available to, to the public. Um, you can encrypt your own stuff. And um, like I said, one of the, ways, the best ways to protect against a uh, live CD password uh, reset attack is by encrypting your files using full hard drive encryption. Now, um, since that video was on uh, cracking Windows passwords, we're going to uh, stick to Windows um, today. But you can also do full hard drive encryption in Linux and on Macs and stuff like that, too. Um, I'm not much of a Mac guy, so I'm not going to do a video on how to do it in, in, uh, in OS X, but I will do a, a video later on on how to encrypt a full hard drive in, in uh, Linux. So let's get right to it. Now in Windows, there is uh, a built-in, um, especially in the new Windows 7, there's um, uh, a new tool called BitLocker. Okay, now BitLocker is only available in certain versions of Windows 7. Um, you know, like, I think uh, Windows 7 uh, Professional, or, no, let's see, that's not right. Windows 7 uh, Ultimate and uh, Windows 7 Business, I believe, have BitLocker. Now, the problem with BitLocker, though, is that, for one, it's only available in, in certain versions, not every version, and it's limited to the type of processor you're running, okay? It doesn't work on every single processor. So it's not really my favorite utility to do full hard drive encryption. Um, the one I'm going to recommend is, is called TrueCrypt, okay? It's free, it's open source, you can get it from TrueCrypt.org. 
Okay, let's go to my desktop here. I've already got it installed. Now, you can use TrueCrypt for more than just uh, encrypting a full hard drive. You can encrypt your thumb drives. You can encrypt, um, you know, individual files. You can encrypt certain folders. Stuff like that is pretty cool. But what we're going to do today is full hard drive encryption. So what we, we're going to do is we're going to open up TrueCrypt. We're going to click on System, and we're going to click on Encrypt System Partition Drive. Okay, we'll click Normal Encryption. We'll encrypt the whole drive, okay? And here it's uh, encryption of host protected data. If you if you ever get a brand new Dell machine, you'll notice that there's a small little partition, um, maybe like 100 megs on the back of the drive. It's got recovery tools on it. Uh, this is asking if you want to encrypt that. Sometimes that can cause problems if you want to use those later. Um, I never do. I always blow that stuff away. So we'll go ahead and hit yes, because um, I don't have any here. But if you have those and you want to use them, you, you're going to want to hit no. You don't want to encrypt that stuff. Okay, we'll hit next. Okay, it's detecting some hidden sectors here. Okay, and now it's asking if we have a single boot machine or a multi-boot machine. Multi-boot meaning uh, Windows and Linux, Windows and OS X, um, stuff like that, or Windows, Linux, OS X. So this is just a Windows machine, we'll do single boot, we'll click next. And here we have our encryption algorithm. This is really neat, okay, because one of the ways that you can get around full hard drive encryption is what's called a cold boot attack. Now cold boot attacking is very hard to do, okay, um, only a like, small number of people in the world know how to do it. Um, and you only have a certain amount of time to do it, so it's not easy to do. So I'm, I'm going to stress that full hard drive encryption is still better than not encrypting your drive at all if you're worried about someone doing a, a password attack on you. Now, that being said, the cold boot attack, um, I've seen a few videos of people doing it, and a lot of it is they're looking for one specific encryption algorithm to find the keys for. The cool thing about TrueCrypt is that you can multi-layer your encryption. So here we can do AES, Serpent, Two Fish, um, AES with Two Fish, okay, that's like two, two levels of encryption. Or we do AES, Two Fish, and then Serpent, or vice versa, Serpent, Two Fish, and then AES, okay?